Things have been pretty different lately. Days might feel like they've been flipped upside down. Like they're all topsy-turvy. But this is not so bad, because sometimes we're all a little topsy-turvy. And if you flip upside down and gain a new perspective or see things differently, we can start to feel more okay. So topsy-turvy isn't necessarily wrong, just different. You might have a lot of questions, and that's a good thing. Your neighbors and your friends and your teachers, they have questions too. So I thought I might answer a few. Is that okay with you? I will start with a story, a story about a creature who wears a crown named Corona. We will call him CC for short. CC is a super tiny living thing called a germ. And CC comes from a family of germs that can make people very sick. CC loves to travel. CC travels on people, mostly riding on their hands. Sometimes CC will wait on a railing or a swing for the next ride. CC can travel very fast. So you must be very careful not to let it go for a ride on your hands. Sometimes CC can make you feel pretty sick. <laughs> making your skin feel hot and your nose drip with sticky goo. Thank goodness CC is very timid and easy to scare away. For example, CC can be very easily washed away with hand sanitizer or simply soap and water. So you can make bubbles with your favorite soap underwater while you sing your ABCs two times. This can make CC quickly run away. You'll say, no thank you, CC, not today. Everyone, especially your grandparents, need CC to stay away so they don't get sick. To avoid meeting CC, we all must spend more time in our homes. Even though you may not be able to see your grandparents, friends, and other loved ones, they still love you very much. You can still communicate with them by phone or video chat. You are in charge of your own two hands, and you must be very careful with those hands. You won't touch your eyes, your nose, your ears, or your mouth unless you have washed your hands. Because that is where CC likes to travel. Instead of touching your face, you can touch your heart and give it a little loving pat. You can say, thank you, heart, for keeping me strong and healthy. I love you. Before Cece came along, you were great at sharing your toys. But for now, you must play with your own toys. This is just until Cece goes away. You will share your toys with your friends again one day. But for now, it's OK to say, no, thank you. Before Cece, you loved to play with your friends at school. But for now, you will only play with the people who live with you. And this is okay. I am sure you will see your friends again someday. You can call your friends on the phone and see their faces and smiles and magical video squares right in your living room. When you see your friends outside, you can wave and make a heart with your hands and smile, and this will mean I love you. Today, you didn't go to school. Instead, you stayed home with your family, and this is okay. Your friends are also home and cozy with their families, just like you are with yours. Your teachers miss you, and your teachers love you. We know that we can look up at the sun and smile at it. Hello, sun. We can take a walk or a run. We can wave and sing and dance. We can rest and learn and take care of each other. Even if you cannot be with your teachers, friends, or family every day, 
Even if they might feel very far away, they are still with you and love you very much. We are all still connected.